Hey, welcome back. I'm Jaden Nerd. Um, I have a Q&A special. I've reached 50 subscribers. I reached out, asked for some questions, and I got some amazing ones, and I want to answer some of these on air for you. Uh, the first one was, which was my favorite video making? Um, this one was kind of easy. If you go back and check my channel, uh, the first video there is about Stacy Dash. Uh, now, mind you, it's not edited. It is not. It's a rough cut <laughs> compared to how my videos look now. Uh, but I really enjoyed making it because it was the very, very first time I recorded a video. I put it on Facebook. So that's how you know it was like a while ago. I was just, because what happened is I started, because I, I always post on Facebook and I get a lot of reactions from people. And when I heard her comments, I was like, wow, this warrants a video. I don't think I can convey how I really feel about her her comments just with words. I had to get on video. I had to emote. I had to use some hyperbole, I had to use some metaphors and some idiomatic language because I was extremely disheartened by her views and her rhetoric. So that was my favorite one because it was the first time that I actually had a chance to make a video, put myself out there, talk about a supposed hot topic, a trending topic, and um, I put it up on Facebook, put it up on Facebook first, and then... I created a YouTube channel, so that is why it's my first one. It's my favorite because it's my first one. It was the first time I decided I wanted to blog about something, so that's why. Uh, let's see. This is actually interesting. Um, this is another question I got. If train A is traveling at 150 miles an hour from New York, and train B is traveling from California at 900 miles an hour, how many degrees do I need to preheat my oven for a five-pound roast? I need more cowbell. My answer is more cowbell. So whenever I get a question, no matter what it is, you got to give me more cowbell. So for you, more cowbell. But they didn't follow up with a serious question. <laughs> um, they said, where do I see my channel by the end of 2016? And what inspires me to keep going? Honestly, I would like to see, because right now I have 53 subscribers. So we have about seven and a half more months in this year. So I would like to grow. This is a dream, but it would be awesome if I had a thousand subscribers, if I worked really hard and built an audience. If I had a thousand subscribers, that would be my dream. That would be my goal for the end of 2016, to really take this channel to the next level. Um, and I see myself perhaps branding it and maybe just putting it out there on a bigger scale. I love talking. So, you know, am I left-handed or right-handed? <laughs> Uh, I write left-handed, and but I play tennis with my right hand. I golf left-handed. All my internet activities, they're right-handed. <laughs> uh, this was another really good one, so I'm going to devote a few minutes on this one. And this one was, you're in Washington. Are you a Redskins fan? Thoughts on the controversy surrounding their name. Mm. Okay. I've been, I've been living in D.C. for a long time, 35 years old. I am a Skins fan, a Washington Redskins fan. I have been a Skins fan since I was four years old. My mother is a Skins fan. However, my dad, he's a Cowboy fan. So when they were together, they, they weren't living together all the time. But when they were, it would be interesting when the Skins and the Cowboys played because, you know, both my parents were, like, on opposite sides of the field. So as far as, like, who they liked. So here's, here's what I feel. At first, I was like, well, it's to watch the Redskins. Like, why would you want to change the name? It's always been the name. Like, it's tradition. It's it's just what it is. Why would you mess with that? It's what I know. It's what people know. People have been rocking burgundy and gold in D.C. and other parts of the country for a long time. There are a lot of people that love the Redskins. They love them. But then I started hearing about it being a racial slur. And I started hearing about that there were certain indigenous peoples of America because uh, I don't know if you should say Native American I don't know if you should say yeah, I know Indian is the wrong word and I think indigenous person would be technically and politically correct but the people who were here first and and, and they take it as a, as a racial slur we call them red skin I'm African American I'm black so obviously I'm sensitive to racial um, intolerance and I'm, I'm sensitive to racial slurs and epithets and things of that nature. So let me just talk about it for a couple minutes. If this is a racial slur, 
then okay, yeah, I definitely get it. That's not cool. I would not want to be part of a team or support a team called the Blackies. Let's let's keep it real. So if there was a team called the Blackies, I'd be mad as I don't know what. I'd be angry. I would be picketing. I would be like, yo, this is not cool. It's 2016. We need to do something about this. Um, I don't say Washington Redskins. I've always said skins. Interesting. Interesting enough. I've always said skins. I'm a skins fan. I love my skins. I do. Well, now, I mean, I don't like our quarterback now. I don't like our coach. But I do a video. I do my sports video about that and talk about Jay and Kirk and all of them. But um, here's how I feel about it. If this is a legitimate racial slur that is offending a, a, a body of people or a demographic of people, then I, I have to, you have to take notice of that. And I don't want to hear anything about this tradition. It's always been that way because if that's the case, the Confederate flag shouldn't be coming down. Real talk. So let's get out of tradition and this is the way it's always been. And let's actually find out you know, are we holding on to the name because we want to hold on to the name? Are we holding on to the name out of arrogance, out of what? What are we holding on to the name for? There have been plenty of teams that have been rebranded, and they're okay now. Again, in D.C., we used to be called the Washington Bullets. But then, remember, D.C. used to be the murder capital of the world, and it had a lot of, you know, high, high homicide rate and mortality rate and, and gun violence. So then they said, you know what, bullets might be a bit too violent. We're going to call them the Wizards. And when I remember when they had the campaign to pick the names. Some of the names were the Express. It was the Wizards. And it was a couple of other names. And when they picked the Wizards, I was like, what the heck? The Wizards? Anyway, so how I feel about it is I think that Dan Snyder is an idiot. I think he's the worst owner in the NFL. I think that when Al Davis passed away, I feel like Dan Snyder became the new just win baby. But the, fine, the ironic thing is we haven't been winning. So I'm, I'm going to calm down because I don't want this to turn into a rant. This is how I feel about the name. Maybe we need to change the name, change the culture. Some people have said that it's cursed. That's why we're not winning. That's why we don't have a successful franchise, et cetera, et cetera. What I'm going to say is in this in the year 2016, in this age of political correctness, in this age of, you know, tolerance, and, you know, you really don't need to offend anyone, um, I don't, I'm not opposed to changing the name. And I'm going to tell you why. If you're going to give me the argument about tradition, if you're going to give me the argument about, hey, it's always been this way, then we need to stop crying about the Confederate flag. All right. Uh... Who would I rather be, Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction or Kurt Russell from any Tarantino movie? I wish I could curse because <laughs> I wish I could curse on camera because I would still be Samuel L. And I would drop some MF bombs. So to answer your question, I would rather be Samuel L. any day of the week. I'd rather be Samuel L. in Pulp Fiction. Give me a jury curl in a black suit, and man, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> um, and then there is one that, what is my favorite word and why? Actually, this is actually a good question. Um, I, actually, there's a tie. There's a word called erroneous, and I love to use this word at work. Because a lot of the customers and a lot of people I deal with, they are erroneous. They're just wrong. They're error-filled individuals that they don't know what they're talking about. It could be anything from operating procedures to, you know, pricing to anything. They just don't know what they're talking about. So I have actively used erroneous many times. As a matter of fact, if you look through my content, one of my videos about bad customers talks about them being erroneous and rude. So I highly uh, recommend you check that out. And um, there's another word that I heard. And this was, I was watching, I love history. So I was watching Elizabeth and they were talking to her and she said, we must not act precipitously. And just the word and just the syllables associated with that, precipitously, precipitously. And I like to use that word. So when I want to show off a little bit, I'm like, hey, slow down. We must not act precipitously. Uh, why? It just sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a word. I like words. I like I'm a wordsmith. I love to talk and speak. So whenever there's something that has multiple syllables and it can play on alliteration, then I'm all for it. 
that's pretty much what I got. It's a 10 minute video. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to ramble as long as I did. There were more questions that I received. Uh, perhaps I'll do another one. Maybe when I get to 100, I'll do a 100 sub special. And so if you have more questions, you know, send them to me in the comments. And when I reach that milestone, I will gladly answer them. Um, funny, serious, the whole gamut. Um, if you like that, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe. I want to talk to you. I want the conversation to go. There's links in the bottom, so you can hit me on Facebook, video replies. The subscribe link will be there, Google+. I want to build this community. I want to talk to y'all. I'll see y'all next time.